Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Before this video gets started, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And also, I have a surprise. I have a puppy in my lap. But he doesn't like being woken up, so he will probably stay asleep in my lap. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. This video is about how I'm feeling as an artist, or how maybe some of you guys are feeling as an artist. These are just some things that I've learned and collected and analyzed about myself from my current art career, and maybe I can help, we can help each other learn how we're hindering our artistic abilities from progressing and becoming better. So let's get right to the video. So the first thing is trying too hard to find inspiration. I find myself personally trying too hard to try and be a quote unquote, I don't know, TV artist where, you know, they're like walking down the street and all of a sudden it's like, poof, this great big like painting comes into their mind. And it just, it might, it actually does work like that sometimes, but it's mainly just in the moment. You can't look for inspiration. I guess you can, but in a sense, you can't try too hard to look for inspiration or else it'll never come. And then also my biggest thing is that I'm trying too hard to find great inspiration. When in, in hindsight, inspiration is from things that like, this is going to sound cheesy, but come from the heart. Like I remember my biggest inspiration right now currently is me remembering playing on my Nintendo DSi and I go into Flipnote Studios. And I'd see people's like stick figures and things like that, but their little stick figure animations were so funny to me and so entertaining. And they just still like, if I saw one now, I'd be like, wow, this is great. This is amazing. Like, we have to take the time to remember the small things that we like and the little things that inspire us. Next, to help me with this, I just start, instead of trying to find inspiration or find something to draw, you just start drawing with no end in mind. Just take your pencil, take a sketchbook, and just start going for it. Like, don't try too hard to make something great. Just the second thing on the list, this might sound a little weird, a little crazy, but being too motivated, being too excited is what I would say that I do. Like, I, I love learning. I love learning new things. I get excited for learning. So every time I'm trying to learn a new art concept, I kind of go over what I was trying to learn and try to learn something else and I'm trying to learn it all at one time when in real life I should focus and I need to hone on one skill and one skill in particular to like put all my time in or else I'm just being stupid and so for example like what I really did do good with was my little series on how to draw people if you guys go check that out on my channel how to draw people I did a whole month where the only thing I did was draw people, and that's it. Every day I would draw a person. And honestly, I can say that I've been trying to learn how to draw people for years now, and I learned more in that month honing my skill in on one thing than I've ever learned in my entire years of just trying to learn how to draw people. So what I need to remember is, and what we need to remember is, to focus on one skill. Don't be too excited to learn how to draw. Like, you can't learn how to draw in a day. It's not how it works. You can't do it all in a day. Focus on one skill at a time. And for me, the hardest part with that comes with choosing a skill to learn at the time. Like right now, I'm kind of confused on if I should start learning color theory or shading or perspective or learning how to draw environments or objects. It's so hard to like find one thing to focus on, but the truth of the matter is, just pick one because at the end of the day you have to learn them all so the faster you get through them the faster it'll be over with and the faster you'll learn them so it's just like remember to take your time and slow down think about things third thing is analyzing and learning so after you draw something or after you're done drawing don't just be like wow this is great and just close your sketchbook you should go back to it every once in a while look at it Think, see what you learned from it. Like, think about what you did in that drawing that you liked, that you enjoyed, that you did better than you did last time you drew something like that. Like, for example, I did a Bob Ross painting, and this turned out not so bad, but I learned a couple techniques in the video that I wanted to try out again because I still didn't like how that turned out. So because I didn't like the way that that one turned out, and I just wanted to try out the techniques that I learned with drawing that, I decided to draw another small one in my sketchbook and honestly this one turned out great like beautiful like I love this one it's not perfect but it's way better than that one and it's just me taking the skills and things that I learned from that one and just 
doing it a little differently this time instead of what I did in just taking the time to realize what I did in that one that messed me up and retrying it and even there's still even things in this one that I can like redo and make better just remember to always like learn from what you're doing learn from your experiences learn from every drawing you do learn from every video you watch just learn remember to take the time to learn not just do most importantly the most the biggest thing that i'm doing that is hurting me right now as an artist or could be hurting you as an artist is not taking the time to learn the basics learning the basics is the most important thing you need to do and by basics i mean color theory perspective shading even how to draw a line the basics are so important the fundamentals are so 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 important and how i'm messing up right now personally is i know nothing about color theory i know nothing about colors i'm just learning and i'm just finally teaching myself the about primary colors complementary colors secondary colors and you think that would be common sense you think you learn that in elementary school but I got kicked out of class a lot in elementary school, so I didn't learn those basics. So now it's now I have to reteach myself these simple things that you should just know about color theory and shading and light and perspective. And I'm trying really hard to learn. And I know it's so hard to just go back and sit there and learn the fundamentals again. It's like learning your core classes. It's like going through your core classes again. That's like how it feels to me at least. But it's still fun, but it's just like, Kind of a daunting task but just remember we all want to skip the basics but we can't maybe the select few who are just beautiful and just have the gift you all still have to learn the basics you can't skip the basics and as much as you want to you can't thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate you guys watching all the way through i love you guys so much and i can't do this without you so if you want to support me you want to help me just leave a comment down below, say hi, say something, and also if you want to like my drawings and things in my indie games like that, you can support me on my coffee page in the description below. And thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And here, a special surprise for sticking to the end, a sleepy puppy, a sleepy puppy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, sorry sleepy puppy.